Hey everybody, welcome back. I think this could be the time that we go to Skellige. We need to go talk to Dandelion. We need to go and talk to Triss, and then pretty much uh, it is go time, and I'm pretty excited to be honest. A um, couple of people pointed out that we have Lambert back at Kermorin, so hopefully we get to run into him a little bit Lambert. later on. And that's why he wasn't there. He was actually pointing to the signpost so that we could go to Kermorin if we wanted to, but that'll be something for later. Oh yeah. Oh, are we going to hear them actually do a little jam? Because that'd be cool. <laughs> Never play in G major. Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. I love it. Especially the, uh, accoutrements on the wall. Priscilla picked them. Well, yeah? I must admit, you have great taste. It worked out. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. So, did you rename this place? Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Thyme wasn't all that, but it conjured images of Tamarian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. And what about the choreography? What about choreography? Prepared anything special for the opening? We have it. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. That mirror will have the audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home from my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Of course, let's do it. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He's all right. And she say anything about me? Well, <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna play with him a bit here. Uh -huh. She said you've gained some weight and that you should bathe more often. Very funny, Geralt. <laughs> Shove it. Well, well. Never thought I'd live to see the day. Dandelion living in monogamy. I've always been monogamous. Well, near enough. I just changed muses often. Priscilla, another one for your collection? No, she's its crowning glory. Yep, sounds like it. Good old dandy's growing up. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. <laughs> you mean you didn't? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? You're the person we've known for many years. She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. It takes time, you know. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... Oh, no. What? Oh, no. Speak, man! She's badly, uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. Gods. Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. 
Whoa. Beg your pardon, but you are a what? relative? Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. What, like, I don't get this. Why... This is targeted. Who could have done this? That I do not know. I do, however, know she is not the perpetrator's first victim. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt. I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. So the heart was no removed? No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. That's a bit risky, though. Great analogy. But this tumor is not gonna sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well. And I assure you, I can take care of myself. Easy assurance to make. Harder to back up. Especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel, not a sword. Look at this scar. Don't be shy. Any Whoa. idea what leaves such a mark? A flail. Morning star, maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? No. Okay. Let me repeat. I know what I'm doing, and I wish to help. Well, then we'll take all the help we can get. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Ready and intrigued. Who I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. Oh, who could have done this and why her? You I'm just trying to think. Is this something against Dandelion? Is this something against us to maybe so, kind of set a trap? Preventive or? medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Thick. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Is it? Hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. We see something. Hey! Help! Help! Okay, drowners, let's go. Okay, now we got water hags. Okay, let's get the necrophage going here. Come on. Oh god. That could have been really bad. We're not done. We have other friends out here still.
Okay, you stay back there. I'll handle the guys up close. Okay. Straight, no sugarcoating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you oh, understand no, what a terrible it's true. blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. This is going to be a challenge for Dandelion. I don't think he's ever been through something like this. Let's be ready. Take the ladder. This is the place. Come, the quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Okay, we're looking for the dwarven woodcarver's body. Looks like it's through there, but what do we have back here? That doesn't look dwarven. Human. Wrong body type. What about this one? Uh, Looks like Necrophage has got to this one. No. Let's keep looking. Whoa. Okay, that was so weird. Portrayal of Elder Races, I think we've read that previously. This brings us in from the other side where we just were. Oh, this is probably him. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood. Not Are you kidding? Bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Well, uh, let's start at the top. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt, like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? What? Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes. And some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. This guy is sick. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Oh my god. Just like Acid persimmons. of sorts? I guess it was the thing that they forced him to drink. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the no victim way. wouldn't die too soon. To keep him breathing. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. Oh, he's just... okay.
Wait, what? An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. Afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochran was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. What is this is bizarre. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin, an incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. You don't think it's related? Okay. Open them up. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt. <laughs> Wait. That's Smells a good story. Not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat scalded. So the person who did it knows what they're doing. Like, I'm honestly looking at this guy thinking, hmm, questionable. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one tied up or tied down. Torture unless bound. Speaking from experience. Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagor. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen, toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. Yeah, apologies, we surgeons. <laughs> We've a different sensibility. Mm -hmm. And a different sense of humor. His genitals, we ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... Shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early oh. stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Alright. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please. Because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. Punishment... Ooh. If it was a ritual, I like you could kind of see the ritual thing from the sala or like is it a salamander egg we decided on? Something like that. How I don't know why it could be punishment if this was just a random dwarven guy. I don't see how in any way shape or form he would be related to Priscilla. Um same with the ritual though. I don't know how that kind of fits. Could be no motive, could be that he's just gone mad. But I, I honestly don't know. Sorry, rather not share my conclusions just yet. I still think I it could be this guy. For the good of the investigation. Will you at least share what you intend to do? But it would be strange it's for him to bring us here, following. right? Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. Who the and hell I'm is Hubert this? Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. You'll be Ooh, here shortly. I'd be interested to hear what the Reverend has to say, believe it or not. You old friends. Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine. Long ago. And not very well. You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, that a doctor's role is to treat the ill, not save the world. You've not changed a bit. A compliment? No, a statement of fact. Thirty years, and you've not changed a bit. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square. Just beside the gate of Far Corners. That poor Trebirance was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. Okay, so it's location-based. Eustace, the corpse collector, brought us the body. 
You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, Your Reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As Your Reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. I did not know we would Why be cover for us? I was involved in a my murder plot. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. Okay, well, let's get crime solving. Sounds like the attacks happen in the same location. So probably somebody that lives in that area. Nathaniel, who is he? A scoundrel, a rogue. Like every man who wears the robes of the eternal fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer. What? Delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the temple guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the temple on the isle, and so forth. Hmm. Dream job. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said huh. enough on the subject. All right, fair enough. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. So, I mean, he's definitely a suspect, right? But it just wouldn't make sense for him to uh, bring us... Like, it wouldn't make sense for him to engage us, I don't think. So we've got uh, Eustace, the corpse collector. We can examine the place where the woodcover died and investigate the alley where Priscilla was attacked. They're all in relatively close distance, but I just want to get a closer look on who exactly we are dealing with here. So, let's see. Um, Hubert. So, the wave of religious and racially motivated killings that swept through Novigrad in the spring of 1272 coincided with Hubert Reck's term of, or sorry, as coroner at the city morgue. Uh, because of this, he was overworked and additionally had to bear the harassment of his dislikable superior, Reverend Nathaniel. It is thus no surprise when he came across an unpleasant and sarcastic, or he came across as unpleasant and sarcastic when Geralt and he first met. Furthermore, it was clear that there was bad blood between him and Joachim uh, von Gratz, a fact that did little to improve the already rather stiff atmosphere at the morgue. <laughs> That's a bad pun. Nevertheless, having learned the reason for Geralt's unexpected visit, Hubert made it clear Geralt and Joachim could count on his help. Okay. And then, I keep saying Joachim, but it's, it's Joachim, I think he was saying. We met Joachim von Gratz, chief surgeon at Vilmarius Hospital, in very unfortunate circumstances. My Priscilla had been attacked and he was tending to her wounds. I must admit I was so shaken I hardly remember our first meeting, save that he was a cool-headed doctor who seemed to know a great deal about the previous murders and offered his help investigating the matter. It seemed the surgeon was no stranger to violence and he bore a formidable scar worthy of a veteran of the Battle of Brenna. Geralt also noticed that von Gratz seemed quite experienced at navigating the sewers and fighting the monsters dwelling within it. It was hard not to notice that Joachim, or Joachim uh, von Gratz did not care much for the city coroner, Hubert Rake, who dropped in unexpectedly on Geralt and the doctor at the morgue. Okay. So nothing out of the ordinary between these guys. No. Oh, fuck. I'm right now. Well, I mean, like, besides the obvious, but nothing that we didn't already know. Bloody bandits! He can't go out in the streets no more! He's the father that used to kill women. Fool of fire and king of beggars. Eustace. Eustace, the corpse collector. I? 
How'd you know? Well, it's kind of Fourth obvious. Sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no what? One of them, right? That's right. First neighbor, as I recall. <laughs> okay, I understand his motivations. One of them. So there have been other bodies like that. Sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One went so poorly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of the... <laughs> Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. So did you search the guy's body? You said you didn't notice that he had a purse you on him. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Oh, okay. Um, I think we could just convince him to tell us. Talk. What did you find on him? I, uh, I had you wish. <laughs> Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality. Oh, he's parchment. got it still. <laughs> I wipe off the right inner slit as new. That's human skin. What? Priscilla. Next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my sight. Now. Okay, so this is getting more interesting by the minute. Are there any of these? I don't think we actually have the letter that we can look at anyway. These are a couple of the other ones that we have to read still. We'll save those for a little while later. Is this? Less a quart of blood, maybe more. No. Okay, let's keep going. So, let's see. He was pale face and countenance dour. He informed us Priscilla had been badly wounded in the assault. Okay, nothing new there. All right. So, we're going to find out where the woodcarver died and see if we can find any clues in that area. I'm not sure still who this could be or why they're doing this exactly, but I really hope that we get some answers. Um, I wonder if... I think I'm gonna go up this way. Or maybe not. Anyone home? Be gone! Or I'll set me hounds on you. Molly, Striga, come! <laughs> Striga, that's Relax. a cool name. I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Set your stupid much light down. Come on. Come on, eh? Sounds, yeah, I was gonna say, sounds dwarven. Charming as beasts go. You daft? Even I'm scared of them. <laughs> a better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I run to a mate who raised his fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But asleep sound at least. So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Okay. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a what? buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? 
Honestly, anything that would help. Anybody that might want to hurt him? Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, that's not good. Craftsman like no other. But he was an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, it's all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish lag. Rather obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her? Now where I can find her, this dish rag. City Cemetery. She died what? a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pont said a fever took her. That seems oddly coincidental. Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze. And found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbours. They see anything suspicious beforehand? Hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. The Novigrad folk give bleeding orphans in the street a wide berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. They'd care about some dwarf. Fine. We've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Can you maybe feed them right now or something? Blood stains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Okay. What are all these little Murderer dragged something heavy dragged something across the floor. Statues. Or dragged it from or one wall to the other repeatedly. Dragged it from one wall to the Murderer other repeatedly. Something heavy dragged something across the floor. Statues. Or dragged it from one wall to the other repeatedly. Okay, it's getting mixed with that one, so I just want to drag something I dragged okay. something across the floor. Statues. I don't know why it's dragged doing it from that. one wall to the other repeatedly. Concerned citizen sermon. Okay. Remember, good people, that fire can be both a blessing and a curse. Fire can warm with its flames. Fire can prepare our nourishment. Fire can drive off the horrors of the dark. Yet fire can also scorch, burn, and incinerate. This is why we must live in harmony with eternal fire and its command our commandments. Our commandments, sorry. Whoever fails to heed its lessons, whoever lives in ignorance of it, whoever mocks it, the same shall lose his life in its flames. Take my counsel to heart, good people, or you'll reap the consequences of your deeds. Okay. Could this be driven by... something to do with the eternal fire? Maybe you shouldn't mess with this dog. And if so, then maybe that reverence somehow connected. You mind if I go inside for a second? Mind if I go inside the workshop? It's not even peeked inside since... Since they found Fabian. Really? Okay. But I'll open it for you if you want. Thank you. This must be tough for him. Stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Whoa, what's the Unless smell? Somebody got rid of the blood, left a few stains behind. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. So they did that here? Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Which would be his toe, right? They said he kicked something really hard before he died. Probably the chair. Eyes. Humanoid. Completely rotten. 
Nothing would you interesting. Meet his eyes. So they did this all here. Okay, well, I guess all that's left is to I take a look at the alley. Had a look at your sculptures. What? Lifelike, aren't they? Mm hmm. The women, especially. Never seen a bust that size on Melitale. Oh, aye. Fabian's handiwork. I told him, brother, tits like that would crush her back. Put them <laughs> down. He said, nay, they'd sell better this way. Told me to shut me trap. And sell they did. Till one sermon at the temple, and the celebrating reverend said that whoso buys idols from the non human Myers yeah. sins twofold as a heretic and as a lecher. That was the end of that. Hmm. So far, all signs pointing to this reverend, but why the, why the eggs? Why the eggs? I'm curious to know. I don't know that we know exactly what's happened, Fine. so I don't want to tell We've him anything enough. that's gonna... Won't learn anything else here. Take care. It's gonna set us off on something strange, but... Certainly it'll be good to know that we can come back here if necessary. And then not more than... 50 feet away... Priscilla's attacked. Oi, oh. Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim! Are you kidding me? Tell me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Bookies. Well, that's convenient. Let me investigate the alley first. Hey, handsome. Whistling Wendy. This is more formaldehyde, I'm guessing. Probably uses this to knock them out. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. A brazier, this time of year. Human, Priscilla's. Oh, wait a second. Grab him! Concerned. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. Oh, what are they doing over there? Don't do this now. Concerned citizen's sermon. Remember, good people, that fire can be both a blessing and a curse. It's the same thing. Take my counsel to heart, good people, or you will reap the consequences of your deeds, concerned citizen. Oh, maybe it's... Wait, this is the second one, okay. Remember, good people, the light cast by the fire dispels every darkness, reveals each lie, exposes each... Ev sorry, every unworthy and debauched soul. Not even shape-lifting dopplers can hide from its light. Not even witches and sorceresses so adept at fooling the common folk. Not the loose women who walk the streets and fog men's minds with their charms. Abandon then the treacherous and, and immoral magic arcane. Cover your bodies in modesty and provoke no unclean thoughts. And the eternal fire will expense or expose for you all monsters and sinners or else burn you too in its flames. So there's definitely <laughs> there's fire involved. We have the the brazier here. We have the um Oh, are you serious? We have the uh the big fire uh stack, I guess we'd call it. These guys don't stand a chance. Like why are they even bothering? I'd say so. Cover your eyes! Take him from the back! We'll beat him the old fashioned way. Think you'll cut me too, huh? Up your ass, Deviant! Holes can fight back! I'm not, I'm, I just helped Calm you. Calm down, I'm not gonna hurt you. What she are you probably doing saw here? something. Get in vengeance. Well. Why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome. For Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. Yeah, please. 
You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Her well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. So you must know she wasn't the only victim. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. So, somebody with an agenda. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Well, we found a couple of things, but I also Ooh, noticed in the back that there was something else. Yeah, like a footprint here. Man's footprint. The murderer's, maybe. Weight on his heel. Took a step back. Maybe got caught off guard? Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. Wait, what? Trail ends here. Strange. Even I couldn't jump this wall. Wait, what? Just disappeared? A brazier. This time of year? A brazier. This time of year? A brazier. Of that smell. This time of year? Maldehyde. So? What is it? It's a good question. Think I know what happened here. Priscilla fought back. Her assailant retreated and knocked over the brazier. Someone must have heard it. Maybe saw something. Started hollering. Guard showed up. Murderer didn't finish the job, didn't cover his tracks. Just collected himself and leapt over the wall. Trail ends there. You divined all this from a pile of rubbish and a few prints in the mud? Do that practically every day in my profession. And practice makes perfect. True enough. Just like I can tell right off if a punt will pay or try to wriggle out of it. That particular skill I could use myself. Okay, so we just kind of give a recap of the scenario. Take care now. And I got a murderer to catch. But who would be able to leap over that wall is the question. That's the real challenge here. And now I kind of want to go back... ...to... Where did we run from? I think it was over here. Yeah, back here. I want to go back and see if we can talk to the, the guy's brother now. No, we can't. Okay. We would have just given a recap of what happened. It appears that they... He was attacked in his place and burned his eyes out in his place. Used the formaldehyde same way. Um, but why? We don't know. We don't have the... We don't really have the motive just yet. We found those little notices, obviously. What's this? Another sermon? What the hell? Remember, dear people, that a fire once lit cannot be stopped, and it consumes everything in its path and only ceases to rage once all has been turned to ash. Men cannot flee this element, and if they bow before it, if they let it into their hearts, they too turn to ash. Search then your consciences and live in accordance with the church's dictates before the time for penance has passed. Oh, Yeah, thanks, man. Oops. I 
Now, maybe talking to him without our buddy here could be a good thing. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Okay. Seems to want to play along. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone. What? Because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? And you're still here, huh? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. It's, I mean, all By signs way, are pointing to the, the, the reverend. The don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, oh. Joachim led the student protests in 1242. A senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, which, uh, those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. <laughs> That's a tough one. Choosing the lesser evil can be hard at times. Happen to know a thing or two about that. In that respect, this work has its benefits. I couldn't possibly hurt anyone here if I tried. Okay, well, let's get started let's on start. the autopsy. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. What is it? Patricia Vagelbud. What? You know yes. Even went to her estate once with. Gotta find her now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Till next time, Master. Oh god. This could be bad. Ah. Okay, what we need to do is we need to get there and we need to get there fast. You know what? Let's take a shortcut. gonna have to beat him there did anybody come through here before me any guys what do you want need to talk to Patricia Vagel bud you think any bum off the street can her life's in danger let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, we'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagel, bud. Just no trickery. Understand? Oh. As No trickery as we both walk through the door. Okay.